WGA's Fun World. Today, we're going to build a race car. You heard me right. I said a race car. We're going to make it using a DC motor and a few batteries and some wire. It's going to be awesome. I have my brother here to help me out. Actually, will he help me out? Because he's going to make his own car too. motor is? A DC motor is something that will like convert the um, electric energy which will flow through our wires that comes from the battery and then the electrical energy will flow through the wires and then it will um, convert it into mechanical energy and the DC motor will make our car move. Hey guys, to make our car move we need Batteries, a load, and some wires. And once we connect them all, it will become a circuit. And here's another new word for you guys, circuit. So, a circuit is when, is what the electrons travel through to generate the electricity. Okay, let's pretend the circuit is like the national racetrack, okay? And the electrons are like the best racers ever. So the electrons are speeding on the thing and generating electricity so we can make our stuff work. Like, let's say our lights in our home, they work by the electrons racetrack because they're racing and generating electricity. Let's get started with making a design for how our car will look. See, I got my design book and my brother got his design book. But why do we need to make designs? So, we need to make a design to see how our car will look. It acts like a blueprint so we can look at the image that we drew and we can help make our car. Okay, cool. I think I finished mine too. Okay, guys, you want me to show you my design? For that, let me ask my brother, what's your design? A fire truck. And what are you gonna color it? Um, now. But like, what are you gonna, what color is it? Red. Good. Let me show you my, my friend's mind design. Okay. Okay. Let me show you my design. So I'm doing a triangle so it's aerodynamic. Let me tell you what aerodynamic is after I'm done with this, okay? Then I'm putting my cylinder, like my toilet paper roll, which is right here, okay? And then I'm gonna draw some designs. And then I'm gonna add the spike coming up, a fan in the back. There's one more thing I need to show. Let me show you. Right in here, there's gonna be like some wires in my DC motor. It's gonna be nice. Let's start. Building our unbelievable car. We need three things to make a car move. A load, a circuit, and a balance. Okay. okay guys, let's try making the circuit. So, we need a DC motor, which will act as a load. We need some batteries and some wires. So, if you need your parents' help, um, please go get them. Okay, so, um, and I have my fan. If my circuit is working, it'll spin. If it's not, um, it will not spin. So, let's see it. Okay, I did that. Okay. Let me connect the positive and negative to make a closed circuit. Hmm, how do we do it? Oh. 
hot. Let me hold it. My mom helped me connect one of the wires to the motor, and I connected the fan. So, but this one is not connected, so it's an open circuit. If this one is connected, uh oh, let me fix that. Okay, guys, I connected the black wire, and whoa! So cool fan. Awesome! This is a working circuit. Watch. Guys, I got some cardboard and I cut my pieces. Okay, but you know something great about cardboard? So your axles can, in cardboard, look, there's some holes here and watch. Slide your axles. See, no hole cutting. Sliding right in. Make sure your axles are straight for your car to go straight. Okay, remember I told you about Aerodynamic, I forgot to tell you after my design. So aerodynamic is really good because like because the wind will push the the um the your car and make it go faster. Guys, I actually got a super brilliant idea when I was trying to um make my car. So, so um do you see um I like took my wheel, I attached it to the DC motor, so that's why I need two battery packs so I can like attach both of them so like guess what so um i'm gonna add what so we somehow need to so we we need to keep them here and then over in the front we're gonna use my axle to make it and then we're gonna test my car out and then we'll motor with my wheels and um uh oh look this is moving when we do this so I think um when we do this look it will not go straight so we might need to put a plaster to um like um stop it from moving let me attach this with a piece of tape try before connecting my batteries. Whoa, 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 Super speed. Time to connect the batteries and make my circuit work. Whoopee. What I did. You see what I did? I found these um like these gears I can use as the back wheels. I took some DC motors and attached the gears to them. And then I connected the wires and then made them move. I connected the wires with the switch to make it move. And in the front I used some normal wheels with just a wheel and axle. Now let me show you it. Ready to try it out? Um, one, one. <laughs> it's running out of my truck and finished. It's about finish line. Hey guys, did you see my car? Zoomed. Let me just brush off the scratches. Look, my wheels are moving. See? 
I hope you like this video. Let's be in my zooming fast car and my brother. So, if you like this, please subscribe. Woo!